All right, I'm Justin Skaggs, and this is Ian McKay from the Buffalo Bandits. And uh, it's probably not the most official face-off you've ever taken, but we're over here at the wood shop, and I'm going to take my opportunity. Rich? All right, boys, on my call. Let's go. In the woodshop today, we have Ian McKay. He's a player for both the NLL and the upcoming PLL. And today we're gonna to do something a little different and we're gonna actually make a great lake style stick. Um, now, I'm not the best at this. There's a guy named Max Kelsey, he's a good friend of mine. He's a much better great, uh, great lake style stick maker. But it's important for me to always try to switch in new things. So, we're just gonna take some, some swings at this, man, to be honest. The thing I usually tell most people when they want to get started in something like this is that the uh, the jigs and the things you use to make the sticks is actually like 80% of the difficult work. Actually like holding on to this stuff and carving it down, it's not the, uh, it's really not the end of the day. At the end of the day going to be the thing that makes the stick itself. I gotta say, so a guy comes down from Canada, moves to the United States and ends up in Buffalo. It's not like any warmer at all. No, is that by design or is that just, you know, you went for, because Buffalo's a really good lacrosse city, especially for box lacrosse. You just go where you thought the. Well, I didn't really. Oh, that's right, you got drafted. I didn't really have much of a choice. Yeah. It's kind of where I ended up, but. That's a weird job thing. Like, that doesn't happen to me. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, you know what? You want to make lacrosse sticks? I hope you enjoy Georgia. <laughs> doesn't happen. I think I think I lucked out though with Buffalo. It's a, it's a great crowd. It's awesome. You just played in Philly. Um, and you said we had like 11,000 for the home opener. Yeah, and you guys get about 15. So Yeah, it's, uh, if we're in line with Buffalo's home opener then I'm pretty happy about it. We were joking around too the other day because I wear number four And it'll be the home opener. So I'll be the first one out of the tunnel So hopefully there's someone there Giving me directions so I don't just run out blindly. You should you should just literally run just out and just stand at X Just go crazy Inside here are the sticks that we cut earlier today. I'm gonna hand you one, and we have about like two or three minutes of pliability, so you just run inside, and I'll come find you, because I gotta stock this back up. But uh, it's cold out today, so by the time the steam touches, pretty much evaporates right off your hand. I've only ever made a handful of these Great Lake style sticks, so I'm actually experimenting as I go. I decided to take the bark off of the second one just to see what happens, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. All right, let's wrap it around, man. Keep pulling on it as you spin it around, right? Pull it outward and wrap. Nice, keep going. I think we made the right move here. Yeah. Put your hand up a little bit closer to here as we find this last bit. Perfect. All right, you can let go. Come take a look. Full radial bend. Looks like there's a slight crack right there, but we can shave that off. So you're going to be playing in two professional leagues in the same year. Yeah. I mean, you're a young man, you're probably like the youngest dude I've had on the show. I don't know, I, I guess I kind of have a bland question, like are you just like absolutely enthralled with what's going on? Yeah, just trying to make lacrosse full-time job. Yeah, and me too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I can and, totally, uh, I totally get it, it's not easy. No, and the fact that there's a new league coming in and I'm just, I'm, I was a rookie in the MLL, rookie in the NLL this year and then I guess everyone will be a rookie in the PLL, but... Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> I like to look at it that way, but um, no, it's definitely exciting and try to, you know, you can only play for so long. True. And, and until your body gives out or whatever it may be, so just trying to take full advantage of 
the years I have to play and play as long as I can. That's awesome, man. It sounds like you're like, you know, living in the moment. And it, when life's good, if you don't recognize it and like hold on to that, you're, you're totally wasting it. Yeah. You know, why look back and be like, yeah, things were sweet then. I played in three professional. Enjoy it now. Yeah. It's exactly. awesome. So. And don't cut off your finger here. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, you would make me really bummed out if I ruined <laughs> this whole thing for you. So you came in, you learned about a new stick, we steamed, we bent, we failed, we succeeded. I think it's a pretty good day. I couldn't agree more. Cool, man. Well, hey, thanks for coming in. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I've, I've literally like only made one of those, so that was awesome. Yeah.